What is up, everybody? We are playing The Child Sight. This was a free game you can get on itch.io. I think it's also on Game Jolt. I will try to remember to put a link in the description, but it's on there. It's under the horror section, and it's probably right at the top. Don't know too much about it. Uh, I just saw it looked cool, so I was like, let's go ahead and just get it. So it looks like Chapter 1 is the only one we got for this alpha demo. So... The souls with missing eyes cannot see. It awaits in the dark for you or me. The child's eyes are innocent and pure. With its smile, it will try to lure. But don't go near, for it is made with sin. It looks for newborns or next of kin. That's pretty cool. Objectives Explore the Attic, optional. Inspect Toys, optional. Find notes optional. When you are ready to press E on the crypt to continue the game. Pick up objects. Okay, so. Well, I know these footstep noises. Aww. Let's do this. Let's do this. Ball. Why are we in an attic? Can somebody explain this to me? Are we locked in this attic? Oh. Is that a note? If I die, would he die? The way I viewed the world is the way he wanted to live. So if I die, would he? Interesting, but why are we in an attic? Why are we in an attic? Can we leave? I'm sorry, I keep asking, but like, why? I see to remember a moment. It's funny how things seem bigger when you are a child. The world seems bigger, the shadows seem bigger, but then you grow up and realize how small life is. Very true. Very, very true. Yes, I will agree there. Alrighty, um... It doesn't really appear. I woke up feeling unsettled, scared, and not alone. But growing up, these those memories started to fade, just like the paint on the crib where I used to sleep. The memories remained untouched just like the toys I grew up with. Alright. Do we get in? Did, did, okay. Remembering a moment. Okay. It's weird. Oh god, it's one of these games. This reminds me of that one game I played not too long ago has a similar setup, I think, too. So, when a closet door opens, quickly turn on the light, but be careful. So, turn on the light when the closet opens. Turn off the light on knock-knock. Keep the music playing. Probably copyrighted. I don't know. Hopefully not. And then use right mouse button to fill up sleep. How do you turn the flashlight on? Uh... How do you use the flashlight? Light. Oh, there's a right. <gasps> Knock! This is... Okay, this is very weird. Yeah, this is just like that one something... K. 
killer bear. I just, I, I have no commentary for this because I'm too busy trying to listen. Trying to listen. Sorry. Like, who gives a child this much to do? Trying to get some shut eye here. But who gives a kid this much stuff to do? How mean is that? Chapter unlocked. Press space to continue. Okay. Explore the objects optional. Find the lost notes optional. When you are ready, press E on the clip to continue the game. Yeah, this is exactly like that one game. Exactly like it. Just slightly different. Must be by the same developer. It's got a similar feel to it. I still don't understand why it's so dark though, and why are we in this? I remember that sound, that chair, I remember that night. Um, I don't really see any of the notes, so... Oh my god, that is annoying. Let's make a game, but let's have annoying sounds. Can we do that? Let's have, an yes, annoying sounds? Right. Why does it take us back here? Grandmother Chow, when the rocking chair starts to rock, pick up Mr. Deer to remain safe from the unknown. While you are holding the reindeer, you are unable to close your eyes or stand up until you place him down on the pillow. Okay. So, we just, so this is all we have to do is just hold that. Or... Is it just a rocking chair, or is everything else in consideration here? Okay, so everything else is still in consideration. Get out of here. Too much. <laughs> I never had this much stuff as a kid. And now I had some freaky stuff. Oh my god, that scared the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. I was not expecting that. I did not hear anything because there's too much noises going on. I never heard it. Never heard it. And I did grab a blanket. It is like 
it's probably like 65 degrees in this room, which is kind of how I want it to be when I'm playing games and recording. And uh, so yeah, I had my legs covered up on a in a blankie. Wow. Okay. Go back to that moment. That that oof. got me good. Too many noises that you have to try to try to. Yeah. messed up Okay, I'm fine. Everything is fine, 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 fine. Get out! Why do I always make the same sound? Come here. For the love of Pete, come here. Keep me safe. Shit, we're dead, bro. Not giving me much time to sleep here. Oh my gosh. Uh, help me. Stand up! This is too much activities for little kids. Too much. I'm never getting to sleep. Get out of here. Oh my god! <laughs> Trying to get to sleep where I can, y'all. <laughs> Shut it! <laughs> Come here. Come on! Come on! Yes! We good? Oh my god. New memory. Relived. Chapter 3. Shadows in the light. Kind of do now to like how this is playing out here. Explore the eye. Yes, yes, yes. When you're ready, press E. I remember that sound, that chair, I remember that night. Didn't we just go through this? It's different. Don't show me your butt. The lamp. Whoa. Alright, remember the moment. Chapter 3. And this is locked. So, I don't think we can go on any further. Alright. Well, that is cool. That is the Child Sight Alpha Demo. Um, like I said, you can get this on itch.io or Game Jolt. I believe it's on both of them. Not bad. Uh, 
very much like the last one. I, I'm I'm only assuming just by the color and the setup of this game, it is by that last game that I played that was similar to this. Um, when it had the killer bears, I can't remember what it was called. Uh, but um, yeah, it was okay. I'm not a big fan of these type of games. Um, they give you too much, but at the same time, it's not a lot. But it's just like you got all these noises and stuff, and you're just like, oh. And I wasn't expecting it to be like this, so it was kind of like overwhelming at first. But um, obviously, you can get through it. You just got to be patient and pick your strategy a little bit there. But yeah, not too bad at all. But yeah, like I said, I'm not. I've never been really a big fan of these type of games. So you know, it's worth playing though if you're into that kind of thing. It's definitely not too shabby. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel and you want to see more gameplay of games kind of like this. And indie horrors, of course, one of the big things as well as other games. And um, share, you know, let your friends know. Tell your mom, your dad, that kind of thing. But uh, I greatly appreciate it. And until the next one, take care. Peace.